Welcome back to the Irish Bears show. We are here to talk about one of the free agent signings that the Bears were able to make. And honestly, it's the one that I'm most excited about. And I know a lot of other fans are excited about this particular player. We can talk, we've had videos on DJ Moore, we've had videos on TJ Edwards. But I think one of the critical signings that the Bears were able to make this offseason was linebacker Tremaine Edmonds. And I'll link in some of the other signings that they made and why this actually complements them as well. I think that's a really important thing to note. But look, it's probably the one signing that was not expected. I think when we look at TJ Edwards, he was the first one that a lot of people thought was going to happen because there was a link with the Eagles there. And he was the first one out of the gate. And I think a lot of people were happy and content with that. And then there was a, a period of time where they didn't get the signings at the beginning of free agency that we all thought they were going to get. And then suddenly they signed Tremaine Edmonds. And look, why this makes sense. First of all, four-year deal, $72 million, $50 million of that guaranteed. I think what was important here was that the Bears actually front-loaded a lot of that money um, in order to maximize their advantage of having, I think they had at the time of when Edmonds got signed, they had it between 70 to 80 million after taking into account DJ Moore's contract, taking into account TJ Edwards as well. So a really interesting one, roughly going to make about 18 million per season, which would put him as the fourth highest paid linebacker behind, obviously, Roquan Smith, who went to who got traded away by the Bears to the Ravens for a second round pick. So you essentially get TJ Edwards and Tremaine Edmonds plus a second round pick for the price of Roquan Smith. So that's kind of the trade-off that the Bears made this year in terms of the linebacking position, because look, we all knew that, that was going to be a position that needed to be fixed. And why does this make sense? Okay. It makes sense. First of all, because you look at the age profile, he is 24 years of age. Um, that's what we've been seeing for the bears. You look at TJ Edwards, who they brought in roughly about 24, 25 as well. You saw Nate Davis, who was 28. They've tried to bring in guys that are either within the area of their main prime of their career or can, or their prime of their career will be in Chicago rather than that being elsewhere and you paying for past performance. So I think that was really important to look, as you can see some of the stats up there, but overall, Edmonds only played in 13 games this past season because there was a couple of injuries there. Um, but he finished with 102 tackles, one sack. He had an interception as well, seven pass deflections. And again, it's that rare size and speed combination at the linebacking position that the Bears are missing, right? If you like grades in terms of just as a good indication of the type of player he is, when you look at the PFF grades that are out there, I don't really care too much about the individual number, but his highest grades are in coverage, which is really, really important for, let's just say if we settle him in, whether it be, whether he plays the mic or the will, I think he probably wants to pay, play the mic because that's what he has before. But I don't think the Bears really care, but him and, and Edwards are going to be a really fascinating duo because Edwards was kind of like a tackling machine in Philly, but, he struggled in that sideline to sideline. And that's something that Tremaine Edmonds does not struggle with whatsoever. And I think that's why this works so well. You have him, you have Edwards, you have Sam Bourne all together. And I think that's going to be a really cool trio that the Bears will have in this upcoming season. Look, the one thing that you look at as when we, I know a lot of people are going to compare Edmonds and Roquan. The one thing, while Rockman was a great player and we all loved him when he was in Chicago, the issues in pass coverage were were readily available for us to see. The one thing that I do like with Edmonds is that's one area of his game that he's actually improved mightily over the last couple of years. He's grown as a coverage defender. And really, this is what is really important for the Bears, especially as a linebacker, because we struggled with that immediate, immediate pass defense. Like when you look at it overall in terms of the coverage ability of the defense, they ranked 32nd in, in the NFL and they ranked 28th overall in run defense, 32nd in pass defense. But it's no surprise that two linebackers have been brought in because that's where really 
the heart of the Bears defense struggled last year. Obviously, we they need to improve the offense, the defensive line and the offensive line. But linebacker was a really important position that the Bears needed to fix. It looks like they may have done that with Edmonds, especially in the fact that you're getting a guy that is only 24, but going on to 25 when he starts the season. If it fits the athletic profile of what Eberflus wants in terms of his linebackers. And we kind of spoke last year why Roquan maybe didn't fit that overall. But I think Edmonds is the perfect player to put into that type of defense. And look, I think that's going to be one of the really important elements of this is how can he and how can the Bears grow? Can he be that captain of the defense? We've seen him. He had the dot on his helmet. TJ Edwards had the dot on his helmet. Having two guys in there that can show that leadership. They don't really care where they play in terms of if it's the mic or the will, but they can work well together. They can complement each other really well. And it bodes really good things for the Bears moving forward at that position. Look, what we want you guys to do is we want you to put your opinions in the chat, whether you think that this was the go- a good signing. First of all, who do you think has been the best free agent signing for the Bears? Please let us know on that one. Do you prefer the TJ Edwards signing or do you prefer the Tremaine Edmonds? Obviously, they're in two different landscapes where Edmonds was that big money deal, the $72 million. Well, TJ was about 20, 23, 24 million over three years. What's your opinion on those two? Do you think that it was it's critical that they're actually both together because these are two really, really impactful players that are only hitting their prime and it leads really for the Bears where we can look at this and they're going to be at the heart of this defense for years to come. And look, personally, I'm really excited. I want to know if you guys are excited. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure you get your comments in. Who's been your favorite signing so far for the Bears? And Let's hope we get to do a bunch more of these videos where we get to talk about a load of new free agent signings. Until next time, guys, like we always say in the show, bear down.